What's up, everybody? It is February 22nd, 2023. And, uh, babe, can you do me a favor? Can you hook your phone up here? So we can use your, your maps. Let's, uh, I think that's you right there. Uh, maybe not. Um, but then I won't be able to do this. Yeah, you will. Okay. Yeah, you'll totally be able to do that. Um, let's see here. All right, hang on, guys. What's up? How you guys doing? This is incredible. It's awesome. We have about five inches already on my side of town. Some parts have seven to eight inches. This is getting crazy. So we're going to drive around the whole lake right now and just have some fun. Okay, let's see. Let's see if... Hey, open up your Bluetooth settings, please. Oh wait, here we go. Maybe, maybe this is it. Sorry about the windshield wipers, guys. The application requires your device to be connected. Oh wait, okay, so that's that's mine. I don't I don't want to connect mine. So let's let's go to iPhone. There we go. That's you. That's you right there. Bluetooth connection unsuccessful. Please try again later. Let's try it again. Let's go here. Alright guys. So as I said, we got about five inches out at my house right now. We're we're gonna do a drive around the lake. You know, I think we're in the left or in the left lane over here. We are, we're not even in our lane. We're on the other side of the road. So I need to back up. There's no cars now. At least I don't think. This is not smart guys, but we're doing it. There we go. Okay, <laughs> sorry about that. There it is, turn green. All right, we're on Stanfield cutoff now, guys. The heaviest part of this storm is coming through right now, so we gotta do this this night drive now. Do you? Um, it's it, not showing your car. It's not. That Subaru VT. That's my other car, huh? Yeah. Okay. Let's see here. Um, well then, let's. Yeah, guys, I'm gonna pull over real, real quickly. There's no one behind us, so we're just gonna. Actually, we're gonna pull over to the left where we don't block anybody at all. I don't want to do that. I, I hate doing that. I tell you guys never to do that, so I don't want to be a bad influence. Yeah, lead by example. Exactly. Now we're on North Shore. Now this person's gonna watch. Then I'm gonna pull over just past him. <laughs> He's gonna be like, "What is he doing?" Okay. Sorry about the annoying sound of the windshield wiper, guys. I kept on forgetting to do what I needed to do with that. Okay. So, while we're sitting here for a second, just bear, bear with us, guys. Hang on, okay? All right, guys, here we go. As I said, I'm sorry about the windshield wipers. If we don't have to use them too much, we won't. Bluetooth connection unsuccessful. Please try again later. Maybe because... Try again. Okay. Sorry, guys. <laughs> so we are on the North Shore, guys. We're gonna shut off the windshield wipers for a moment and see if we can avoid. Because sometimes when it's super cold, it's it's not necessary to use the windshield wipers. So far, so good. So maybe just once Bluetooth connection unsuccessful. You know what? Then we're gonna go like this. We're gonna go like this. We're gonna go back home, and then we're gonna use these maps. Then forget it. 
It's just I don't like this map nearly as much. But look, we're about to drive into the lake. Oh, oh my God, we're on the edge. Oh, oh. Turn it down a little bit, though. Okay. Guys, this is pretty awesome. This is pretty awesome. 24 degrees, 7, 12 p.m. on February 22nd, 2023. And that sound you're hearing is the snow in my wheel well. So um, sometime in the next day, I'm gonna take this car to the car wash, even though it's gonna be well below freezing. The car wash water is really warm, so I'll be spraying the, the inside of my wheel wells to get the snow away, and I'm gonna have to do that probably every day. It's gonna cost me 10 bucks every time. But with the donations, that's what I'm gonna use it for is to keep the car maintained so we can have a nice, nice good driving out here, guys. So the further we go this way, the more snow we're gonna encounter, guys, okay? Just be aware of that. So it's, it's still snowing pretty steady right now, but it's nothing too, uh, too, too crazy over here. yet as I said the further we go this way and towards the Big Bear Dam it's gonna be gnarly just gonna take a look where we're at right here in accordance to the lake Guys, thank you guys for being so supportive. This has been an awesome day. My, it was my wife's idea to do the live feed. And it's just so awesome because we have a permanent live feed going for the whole storm. And it's just wonderful. We've had such great conversations today. Laughed a whole bunch. You guys are awesome. You guys are hilarious. You guys are making us laugh all day long. It, it's so nice. Thank you guys for being so awesome. Those of you who don't know, there's... There's a live feed that I started yesterday that is not gonna end until the whole storm system's done. And there's always between 20 and 70 people on there. And everyone's cool, like super cool. Right, baby? Mm -hmm. Very, very nice people. Okay, we're entering fawn skin now, you guys. I don't like the sound of that. I feel like that's gonna pop my bumper or my wheel well off. So you guys want to see fawn skin. Obviously it's, it's nighttime. We'll be doing this a lot during the day over, over the next week, I promise you guys. For my fawn skin lovers. Some of you guys thought I was saying, saying something else when I say the name fawn skin. It cracks me up. Like who would name a town that? I'm like, no, it's fawn skin. <laughs> you know what? I got to keep this on because uh, the windshield wipers are going to freeze and we don't want the ice to be all over the windshield wipers because then it'll be a pain in the butt. Steady 
steady snow, you guys. Heavy, steady snow. Downtown Fonskin, folks. Downtown Fonskin. Can we drag up? Alright, and once we get through Fonskin, that's when the snow is going to really pick up, guys. Because we'll be heading to the other side of, of those hills over there. And, uh, that's where the storms come in first. I can't wait to see what over by the Big Bear Dam looks like. It's gonna be so windy over there, guys. snow we're getting over here now. Look at that. Look at how fresh this is. How beautiful this is. Baby, this is so gorgeous. All the trees are covered in white now. That's the way I like this town to look. no traffic either way stay in the middle of the road in case you do lose control you'll have space on either side to 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 correct your uh, your error okay really important and I'll even cut across into the other lane on turns like that it because it'll allow me to see around that corner sooner my wife does get a little nervous when I drive but I would never put her in harm's way and she, but it still doesn't help by me saying that and I can understand. So we're very blessed to have her here with me. But I would never put you in harm's way, honey bunny. Thanks, babe. You're welcome. I love you too, babe. As a matter of fact, 
I'm not gonna look at her, but say hi, babe. <laughs> hi, babe. She, she, she's been doing so much talking to you I'm guys sleepy. on the, uh, yeah, she is super sleepy. She's been doing a lot of talking to you guys on the uh, uh, live feed today, which is just awesome. Yep, I've had a lot of fun with you guys. I was supposed to be in LA with my family, or that was the plan anyway, and decided to stay with this family, you guys. It's awesome. Awesome, awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry for putting you on the spot like that, but you're too beautiful to not show in the video. Thank you. You're welcome, babe. thing is is that we're making the same time that we would is if there wasn't any snow which is nice because it'll be a quick upload but guys I'm really glad we tried the, the GPS thing so I don't have to worry about it anymore I didn't like it at all and I could have made it smaller but you guys would have not been able to see anything on it because I, I tried it Isn't this car such a killer handler in, in, in these conditions, babe? I don't know, you told me to close my eyes so they close them. Yeah, true. <laughs> no, just kidding. See, that's where I feel like you really need to slow down because that was close to the He was in the middle of the road. What am I supposed to do? No, we're good. He needs to drive on his side. Like, when you see cars coming, then you pull back to your side of the road. Alright guys, we're coming up to the dam right now. To the John Claude Van Dam. And the snow's gonna be really picking up at the dam for a quarter of the way back home. Wait till you guys see. So at this stoplight up here, if you guys turn right, you'll be going into the little Arctic Circle on Highway 18 heading out of town. And look at look at the snow blowing here. Yeah awesome and this is one of the hardest lights to judge where the uh, sensor is so we might have to like we usually do have to go through it but we'll wait we'll wait because we're not gonna just run it we're gonna let it go and then hopefully Please turn red before this guy gets here, please. 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 Nope. Great. Gonna be stuck behind that guy now. Look at the snow blowing here, guys. Look at how windy it is. <coughs> Bless you, babe. <coughs> Sorry, I'm all sneezy and coffee right now. Sorry, guys. So if this guy turns green before us, then we are going to go after he goes. Because that light was green and turned red. Okay, let's see here. Are we going to get lucky? Nope. We didn't hit the right sensor. But look at this, guys. Look at that. We're going to have to go. As you guys saw, we, we waited a whole series of, of lights. And nothing happened for us right there. So... You okay, baby? Yeah, I'm just sniffly. I'm fine. Is it allergies, you think? Yeah. Just the cold. She's the allergic to the snow. <laughs> yeah, no, it's not allergies. It's literally just being cold. Oh, my body's like warm. There's your seat heater, babe. There we go. Thank you. You're I welcome. You had the AC on just to torture me. No, just kidding. I, Thank I, you, baby. I have it on the, the highest heat possible, babe. Look, guys, she said I had it on on AC, but that's on the highest heat possible. I was kidding. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I actually had the uh, the window cracked because I was getting super hot. 
But anyway, this is the way that you guys go often to come to, to Big Bear. And the snow is coming down more over here. It's so pretty through here. Wow. It is so pretty through here. this babe look at how pretty that is fresh blanket of snow everywhere just so nice look at that hillside so cool. oh it's so beautiful and of course guys we're gonna go through the village of course on our way home because we haven't really done that today We'll go to Walgreens see if they have a yardstick, babe, to measure the exact amount of snow. I don't think they'll have a yardstick, but I'm sure they'll have a ruler. They might have a yardstick. They yeah. might. You never know. You're right. But a ruler, that's it's, it's just going to be pointless because it'll be deeper than a foot, so it's not going to help. Unless we buy like three rulers and, and tape them together, but I don't want to do that. Look at the snow. I wish we could have our brights on so so the lights could really show you guys. The guy in front of us. Oops, CHP? No? Yep. CHP. We just got passed by California Highway Patrol. I hope you turn on your brights again, buddy, because it was looking really beautiful in front of you. I taught them a trick on how I make cars in front of us disappear. It's really cool. How's that? You're going to make the road? No, babe. <laughs> no, of course not. <laughs> so I might have to teach you guys our magic trick. Or not how to do it, I'll just show you guys the trick. Once we get up past Boulder Bay. So guys, when you have someone behind you, always up here, it, it's the only way to really keep keep traffic flowing. Pull over and let the people pass. I'm not just saying that because I want to pass, okay? I'm really not. I tell you guys this all the time. If you have to, to pull over 10 different times, you should because that's only going to help traffic out. But it is so pretty over here. Okay, so we're coming up to Boulder Bay. The left-hand side here. some monstrosities of homes at Boulder Bay right there. It's really, really, really pretty. If you get cold, let me know, okay, baby?
Big Bear Boulevard, you guys. You guys know this route right here, I'm sure. Because most of you take this route into Big Bear all the time. It's not too bad, huh, babe? Like, it's it's definitely drivable. The good thing about the snow is it's filling in the potholes. So that's good. See, and I don't feel like the problem is driving on the snow. I think the problem is when there's a lot of cars on the road and then they build up. And once one car starts to slide, it causes you to slide because now you're stepping, you know, just a domino effect type of thing. So. Right now, yeah, it's easy to drive. We're gonna go here by Aspen Glen real quick. If you wanna see a blanket of snow, hopefully this will be a good blanket of snow. And then we'll go through the village and we'll be done with this drive. But yeah, guys, it's amazing how it is a domino effect with the driving situations up here in every situation. She's absolutely right. And then if one car stops in the middle of the lane to put on chains, then everybody does. And it's just, it's just horrible. And some of these places that people choose to oh, oh, windows bus to open. turn over, is it? Yeah. To pull over and put their chains on, I'm just like, I just, you guys really think about what you're doing and. Yeah, you, you guys are gonna kill yourself doing that. Mm -hmm. That's why it's, it's so dangerous. It's not so much about holding us up at, at that point. It's it, really not. It's about it's... risking your life now. Because if the car back of you can't stop, and you're laying down on the ground, right. putting your tire chains on, it's, it's gonna hit your car and it's gonna run over you. I mean, you have to remember some people are stepping on their brakes and their car's still sliding, so it can just slide right into you. And I've seen that almost happen with someone laying under their car putting yep. chains, and here comes a car sliding down the road. It's the scariest thing. I've, I've seen that too, babe. Yeah, it's scary. So just, over in the appropriate area. So I was coming up the back 38 and people were literally stopped in the middle of the road putting their chains on. I'm like, no way, I don't, I just, and it wasn't even chain time. Yeah. I'll tell you guys, that gets extremely frustrating. <laughs> it really does. Only because it's holding everyone up and then a lot of people come into town who who want to have a good time and they they get here bitter <laughs> you know yeah. because it's just been a nightmare getting up here because some some people feel super entitled look i understand if you don't have any other option and you're so freaking terrified but if that's the case you, sh you shouldn't be driving up here you should have someone else drive you up here just to be safe um because yeah, once again, people have a hard time stopping. Yeah. And God forbid something happens to you guys. I know the people on this channel don't drive like that. I know that. As a matter of fact, one of you guys during our Thanksgiving storm when I did a live feed back then, saved me. Because someone was parked in the middle of this really steep downhill right behind the Big Bear Village when I was doing a live feed. And they had, they were literally where I'm at right now, like, like in the middle, right? putting on their tire chains. And I knew that if they didn't get out of the way, I'm, I'm not gonna be able to avoid them um, because it wasn't wide enough. And I had to turn into a snowbank and crash on purpose because I wanted to avoid killing this guy. And then about 40 minutes later, one of you guys, and this is four years ago, one of you guys noticed that it was me when you were driving by right behind Pine Knot, which is the weirdest thing, pulled over and helped me get my car out he was a humongous dude and he, he like pushed on the car and wow. he got it out yeah yeah he was a monster a good monster <laughs> oh this is so pretty oh my gosh This place always looks so great on the right-hand side there. 
when there's a lot of snow. Wait till we get the really big snows. It's gonna be wonderful. <laughs> I mean, just in this video, this looks marvelous. Turn your signal on after you turn it. Okay. Alright guys, so I'm about to turn up the, the heat again because the windshield wipers are freezing again. We're going to make it go fast just for a moment. Just for a moment, you guys. And I'm gonna hold the camera out the window on this part of the village. Come back. That always felt to me like a sign you would see at like Disneyland. chance eat here at the crepe cafe this little shack right here a good friend of mine owns it he and his wife own it they're wonderful people they actually moved to mammoth and uh, they're opening a crepe cafe in, in the next week up there really cool cool people really cool people see i got the right windshield fluid this time Spot they wouldn't forget. Oh, it's so gorgeous out here. It is so gorgeous out here. Then I'm probably going to do one more night drive about 11 o'clock because heavy part of the storm supposed to, to roll through then. Look at that. That's cool. That is cool. That's awesome. I mean, that was freaking awesome. Look at the snow blowing, guys. This is great. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. drink a mocha frappuccino all right babe well let's get ready to say goodbye for the drive once again let's just look at the map and then look at the temperature here's the map we're coming up to moon ridge we're going to turn on moon ridge road temperature is 20 degrees 741 we're on big bear boulevard thank you for watching everybody like and subscribe and we're doing a live right now so come and join us for the next three days Awesome. Be super fun. For the next eight days, you guys, we are not going to turn it off. The next three days is going to be the gnarliest part of the storm. So please, please, as she said, come, come check us out. Come check out our live feed. I think you're going to think it's gorgeous. 
And uh, yeah, once again, like and subscribe. Um, definitely helps us out a lot. It'll get our, our videos shown to a much larger audience, which would be awesome. So thank you guys. Appreciate it. And uh, we love you very much. Bye. Happy snow day. Happy snow day, you guys. Peace out. All right, you guys, this is where the live feed's being, being done from. That's the live feed up there. So this is gonna be at the end of the next video. So here's the live feed. It has a nice view of just all of this out here. It's so pretty. I love you guys. Peace out. There's my wife. <laughs>